In this video, we're picking up where we left off in our last tutorial about Gaggle effects. Since then, a lot has changed and many new and unique filters have been added to the list of easy to use and amazing filters. In this video, we'll be highlighting some of the most important and interesting filters on the list. Before we dive in, let's go over the installation process. To install these filters, download them from either the GitHub page or the provided link. Next, copy the filter file and open GIMP. Go to Preferences, then the Folder tab, and select the plugin folder. Open that folder and go back two folders to find the Gaggle 0.4 folder. Then inside Gaggle 0.4 folder create a folder with any name to manage your filter correctly then paste your filter file into that. To use it in 2.10 version, just go to Tool menu, then Gaggle Operations, but in 3.0 version, you must go to Filters, Generic, then Gaggle Operations. First on our list is the Gaggle Effects Filter. This filter covers all major types of effects, such as drop shadow, outline, gradient, overlay, bevel, and glow. The key thing to understand when using this filter is first, some of the effect's opacity is set to zero, so increase it to see the effect, and that way you can also control what effect you want to enable or disable. Second, many of the effects have their own drop-down menu for blending modes, this will allow you to enhance certain effects further, for example, you can get different types of bevel effects if you change their blending modes, and the same is true for other effects that have the option of changing blending modes. Third, you may not see all the option for all the effects when you open this filter, but to see and enable the other effect you will have to switch it from the upper drop-down menu. Fourth bevel effect may not look good when you enable it, it feels free to play to lighting rotation and radius to customize it further and also if your text is color black, bevel will not work, so set the text color to any other than black. Keep in mind that experimenting with all the options and settings is key for getting the most out of these filters, as the possibilities for creating amazing effects are endless. Another great filter to check out is the Bevel Filter, which is a dedicated filter for adding depth and dimension to your text. To use it, make a copy layer of your text, then change your text color to any other than black, and apply the filter through the Gaggle operation. From there, you can play around with the various blending options, like Multiply, Grain Merge, Overlay, or LCH Lightness, to achieve the desired effect. Plus, you can adjust the angle and lighting of your beveled text for even more customization. This is the preferred filter if you want to use more blending modes and want more customization in the bevel effects. But that's not all, there are other variants of bevel effects you can try out. Some of these filters include the Glossy Balloon Filter, which allows you to create a glossy balloon-like bevel, the Chrome Text Filter, which gives you the option to create a metallic chrome-like bevel effect, and the Custom Bevel Filter, which is a more customizable version of the bevel filter with lots of sliders to play with. Additionally, there are other interesting filters, like the Color Fill Trail filter, which creates a unique effect by making the text trail with multiple colors. The Rock Text filter allows you to make your text look like rock, but you will need to use a rock image to get the most out of this filter. The Star Field filter allows you to create a space with stars where you can control various settings such as density, color, randomness, and size. So there you have it, a quick overview of some of the most important and interesting Gaggle filters. Make sure to experiment with all the options available to discover the endless possibilities for creating stunning effects. Thanks for watching.